Hi, today I want to talk about the calling features that you can see within Teams. So here I am in Teams. If I go down to my calendar, what you will see is your full Outlook calendar in there with all of the meetings that you have scheduled. You can just select Meet Now. So I'm here in the calendar. I can go uh, choose a, uh, a title for my meeting if I want. I can adjust the audio and video settings. So it's good to look at the settings and see what it is uh, that we're using for the speakers, for the microphone, etc. I can make a test call. I can also choose the camera that I'm using, etc. So I can get those uh, set up and then I can click on join now. Now I can now invite people to that meeting. So if I select Jonathan, for example, I can select more than one person, but this one here, I'm just going to select Jonathan. Now I can make a call. Before I make a call, uh, you can look at some of these actions here. I can blur my background. So if I click on blur background, you'll see what effect that that has is to a nice, neat blurring of the background. Okay, so what I can do now is I can share my screen with Jonathan or I can share a specific app with Jonathan now that we're in the call. So um, I can share the screen, just the desktop. That's a generic thing where I can share whatever is going on or it might be a specific PowerPoint file or it might be uh, anything that I have going on. It might any app that I have open at the moment, I can scroll down and I can then share that screen with him. By selecting the three dots here, I can start a recording of the meeting. So uh, this will uh, allow other people to uh, make sure that they see that the recording's going on and they'll get a message saying, okay, uh, you're recording and everyone knows that they are being recorded. So um, now the meeting is being recorded. So you could have a preamble to the meeting. Now the meeting is going to be recorded. The video will automatically be saved and the interstream and will be shared so that the people in this call will be able to see it later on. The other options you've got here is that you can go in full screen. You can uh, look at notes. So there might be notes that you want to take during the meeting. So I can click on take notes and I can jot down notes down the side here as the meeting is going. Something else that I can do if I hit the share button is that as well as sharing a particular screen or just my desktop in general. So you might want to share a OneNote page, for example. Uh, the other thing that I can do is whiteboard. So Microsoft Whiteboard is integrated into Teams now. So Microsoft Whiteboard allows you to have an online collaborative space where you can work together with anybody who's on the call. Okay, so here's my whiteboard now. You can see I can choose the different colors here. So if I wanted to, I could write on the screen. And what I'm going to do is maybe set that for a question for um, somebody to uh, draw. You can see that uh, other people can participate on this whiteboard. As many people on the call as you can have will be able to write and draw as it is you're going along. So this is a collaborative space online. Uh, check out Microsoft Whiteboard. It's an, also an app on your computer as well, but you can see it's launching here within Teams so that we can have this collaborative online chat as we're going through. So as you can see here, one of the students has shared their screen with me so I can see what's on their screen. What I can do is I can request control of their screen. So you can see that's appearing on their screen. Uh, that person is now allowing me to control their computer. So I can now go in and you can see the hover over the little face there. So I could go in there and I can actually do a search. I can control everything on the computer. Um, so this is, so you can see that I'm typing now and I'm doing the typing there. So I'm actually on their computer. I actually can go to different websites. You can see the little cursor there with my face there. So a student has shared a screen with me and I can now control what it is going on there. You can also see the little cursor with their name as well. So you can see both of us on the screen at the same time. All right, so I'm going to relinquish control now. So cancel control. And so let's go the other way now. So now I'm going to share my screen with the students. Now I'm on the call here with one person. It could be multiple people or it could be a whole class. So I'm going to select this uh, OneNote file to give control to. So here on the OneNote file. So everybody it goes to full screen so that everybody in the call now is seeing my OneNote file. Now what they can do also is that they can request control 
of um, of the screen that I'm on now. So um, he's requesting control and I can click on allow. All right, so at any time I can go up to there to cancel control. But now Jonathan is on here, he's able to control my screen and to collaborate with me on this page. So if we um, give one person at a time control, they can do that. So um, he would be able to write on here, control my screen anytime. And then if I just hover over the top, near the top there, you can see I can go cancel control and then I'm back in control of my screen. I can then stop sharing that page and we're back to the main calling area. When I finish the meeting, it takes me back to the chat area in Teams on the left here. You can see the meetings that I've had down the side and you can see this meeting here that we had earlier. Um, it, we had some notes that we had going on, so we can see the notes in there. You can see the video here as well. So this is the recorded video of the meeting that we had. Make sure that they see that the recording's going on, and I'll get a message saying, okay, are you recording and everyone knows that they are being recorded? So um, now the meeting is being recorded, so you can have a preamble to the meeting. Now the meeting's going to be recorded. The video will automatically be saved and into stream and it will be shared. So there you go. So no need to upload or anything like that. The meeting is there for you to see all of the details afterwards.